my name is praise i live in the uk i'm nigerian okay and um i from the topic of this video you already know what we're talking about i just want us to talk about how to relate and how to treat your friends who live in your abroad <laughs> basically every one of us has friends or relatives who are actually out of nigeria for one reason or the other maybe to study or just because they wanted a better life or something new for themselves and they left and guys the way we relate to them actually matters we don't have to be all nice but we don't have to be all rude and all nasty i am a strong believer when it comes to relationship with people and i know it doesn't always end well it doesn't it doesn't have to always end well yeah because human beings will always be humans you cannot kill yourself because you're trying to impress someone and get out of your way but i'll just have a balance here the reason why i feel so much pressure that i should be able to talk about this because i have been there i have lived in nigeria and actually live in the uk now and I could tell you from experience that it doesn't always go down well we are angry with a lot of folks who moved to the UK I know I am aware we are angry with a lot of them <laughs> it's not like physical anger that you don't wish them well no but you feel oh they left you all oh, that this has happened all oh, that oh they moved on and all of that please guys it's not this video is not um to come and beat around the bush or start begging you to not feel the way you feel you have every right to feel the way you feel you have every right to be in your own mood and in your own expression and your own feelings but this video is to tell you that there are some certain things you do for people and to people you definitely get a better result and i'll not be right now be heading to the very point that you need to get which is be kind to people once they move to a new environment. This is basically saying that you have to adjust your friendship with someone and the another person who is outside the country should be different. Try to ask questions like, is this the right time to talk? Try to ask questions like, how are you? How are you settling down? And all of that. Don't just be in the person's face or start expecting that the person just has to you know keep keeping up the way they used to in the past or the way they behaved when you guys were in nigeria together or when you guys were in the same country together things have actually changed it's not very easy for folks around around here everybody here has one struggle or the other and i basically understand how nigerians feel about people abroad we always have this impression or expectation that oh they have made it or they are doing well or they are you know that they are living the life and all that because it's everybody's dream right it's not like everybody's dream but a lot of people want to be out of the country and we understand that those ones who are out you start acting as though they did something wrong to get out but basically the right thing to do the right thing to do is to be nice to them is to ask questions that are meaningful and have meaningful conversations okay i will not just talk about having meaningful conversations without even giving a hint of what meaningful conversation is about meaningful conversations could be if you know somebody traveled for school focus your concerns about school ask the person more like have you been going for lectures focus your questions on have you been going for lectures have you been settling in well have you made friends and all that but you don't have to just be in their face every day asking those questions it's a once in a while thing how are you finding the weather what's the weather today those are the kind of conversations that will help the person to open up and talk to you before now i didn't know all of this because i had friends who left nigeria and all of a sudden we stopped talking and no no offense we all move on and i am the kind of person who moves on very fast if we don't talk that doesn't necessarily mean um we're not good but i basically understand that a lot of people feel when you don't talk you're not good and you, they try to put in that emotion they stop talking to you on social media they, it doesn't necessarily mean that something has gone wrong it just means that they feel different about you and that's totally fine but the point i'm going to be making in this video is that 
when you feel different about someone let it not be because a person traveled let it be because you the person did something to you basically if someone has done something to you and you feel different about that person it is very okay but if you're feeling different about someone because the person traveled it doesn't make sense there's no maturity in that if you have a friend who is outside the country you should also be empathic when it comes to your relationship with them put them first try to understand how they feel try to also update what is going on with you it's not all the time you're asking questions sometimes you have to chat the person up and tell the person what's going on in your life and all that and it's not so just like i made i made it clear you don't have to always ask for money or ask for whatever ask the person questions that are relevant okay if you're someone who has come to study in your abroad break make, make out time to communicate with a person about academics how to make out time if you must have that friendship okay it's not a must okay if you feel that that friendship is not important to you let it go all right but if it's important to you these are the things these are the steps you have to take to keep it flowing and <clears throat> Okay, I'll just be sipping my juice as we talk. So basically, relationships are in levels. If we had a very good relationship before I left Nigeria, there are certain expectations that follow that relationship. You think we should keep up. I think we should keep up. And that is totally fine. But if there was nothing serious about us, right? <laughs> <laughs> everybody should just understand that there's nothing serious the more you put pressure on a friendship that is not supposed to be the more you mess it up correctly okay so after you talk to them nicely try to ask relevant questions also try to carry them along in the things happening in your life don't always just want to know what is happening in their life also try to carry them along in what is happening in your life and with that the person feels okay i'm briefed oh she told me she's moving oh she told me she's having a baby oh she told me she's oh she told me she's um getting married oh she told me she she just got um a new job you know try to update the person also it doesn't have to be what is going on how is your please how is have you gotten a boyfriend have you gotten this have you gotten that all of those questions don't make relationships very strong especially for people who are trying to settle or trying to find their feet in a new environment not working the way you want it you start feeling i don't want to talk you know and at that point the person starts to ignore you so i hope this very few points will clarify things for us okay so that we do not waste our time or messing up relationships that are supposed to be and we mess it up and make it not to work out because the person left just like i said if someone leaves a new environment for another place or lives for a new environment you should try to keep up the friendship if you guys had a friendship before if you if there was no friendship before it's fine not to force it there's a connection if there's a new connection it's different for you guys to find friendship in the environment but if there was nothing and if there's nothing coming up there's no need pushing all right let's just be nice to people who are relocating let's be empathic with them because it's not easy settling in in a new environment it's not easy guys i am standing here i'm sitting out here telling you guys the truth because i have a strong family that supports me my family is quite supportive very very supportive that is why i can tell you this with my head up and tell you it's not easy when your family is always putting pressure on you demanding one thing or the other it makes you breakdown especially when you're in a new environment okay so please let's try to understand that being in a new environment does not mean we have forgotten anybody we are just new in a new environment we are just trying to find our feet okay okay thank you guys for watching so we'll meet in my next video video connects with you kindly kindly subscribe and um Comment below and like this video. Thanks.